Cool new Mercedes GLC aims to hit the heights of the larger SUVs. We see how it fares against the Volvo XC60. A few years ago you'd have been hard-pressed to find a petrol SUV that wasn't some sort of performance model. Diesel was the default choice for most with four-cylinder 2.0-liter units being the mainstay of the likes of the XC60 and the like. But with people shifting away from diesel, we're seeing more petrol offerings. And it makes sense. For those not covering more than 10,000 miles a year and whose driving is short journeys, there's no need for a diesel. Plus you can avoid any DPF problems and you'll be paying less at the pumps. It's the reason I went for a petrol T5 XC60. The other car on my radar was a petrol Mercedes-Benz GLC. Having come out of the superb AMG C43 estate, I was after something a little more sensible. So a week with a GLC 254 Modic gave me the chance to find out what I missed out on. On paper it's slightly behind the XC60 with 211 PS compared to 250 PS, pre-Polestar upgrade, but has plenty of torque with the same 350 Nm as the Volvo. Indeed, low down, the GLC feels more urgent and eager than the XC60. That extra power of the Volvo does come into its own if you accelerate hard though, it's here where you notice the difference between the two. But in everyday driving, the GLC feels just as quick, if not more so, than the XC60. I say feel as that's partly down to the gearbox. The GLC changes feel a snappier, giving you more of an impression that you're accelerating. The XC60 is more effortless and the gear shifts less noticeable. Personally, I prefer the smoothness of the Volvo for the majority of the time. When it comes to handling, the GLC really leads the way. The Volvo is more than capable, don't get me wrong, but it always feels like you're driving a big car and isn't at its best when thrown into corners. The GLC however is far more agile with more responsive steering and less body roll. I found parking the GLC easier too. Even though both are the same size, the Mercedes doesn't feel as bulky. As for ride quality, the XC60 has the edge, mainly due to the air suspension fitted to our R-Design Pro. The GLC is comfortable enough, but the Volvo is that bit more cushioning. The Volvo is also quieter all round, there's less engine and road noise. Comfort the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 offers a bit more room for passengers in the back seat than the Volvo XC60. The Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 offers just a little more front head and legroom than the Volvo XC60, making it a little more comfortable for the driver and front passenger. Convenience The Volvo XC60 requires fewer stops at the gas station than the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300, making it more convenient to drive. Cost There are a lot of factors to consider when calculating the overall cost of a vehicle. The main consideration is manufacturer's suggested retail price, MSRP. When looking only at MSRP, the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 will have less of an impact on your bank account than the Volvo XC60. Dimensions Since the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 is much slimmer than the Volvo XC60, it'll be much easier to find a wide enough space in a crowded parking lot. When looking at overall length, the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 takes up about the same amount of space in your garage as the Volvo XC60. Handling the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 has a larger turning radius than the Volvo XC60, making it slightly more difficult to maneuver in and out of tight spots. Performance If you've got something you need to pull, the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 will do just as well as the Volvo XC60, since they have about the same towing capacity. The Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 has a little more horsepower than the Volvo XC60. Powertrain With somewhat higher torque, the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 transmits power to its wheels a bit more effectively than the Volvo XC60. Utility In terms of seating, you'll be able to fit about the same number of people in both the Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 and the Volvo XC60. The Mercedes-Benz GLC 300 has less cargo space than the Volvo XC60, which is okay if you don't need to move a lot in one trip.